If I uh, take the contents of this bottle, this wine bottle, and drink it, and then I take the contents of one or two more of those bottles and then drink it, and then I go and get behind the wheel of my car, the assumption is that I'm not fit to drive, that what I'm doing is unethical, I suppose. Um, I'm doing something that sets me apart from all the other drivers on the road, in theory at least. In theory, all the drivers on the road are sober, except me, because we have laws and we have social mores that say you are not supposed to drink and drive. That I had the option of not consuming any of this before I got behind the wheel of the car. I was not in any way impaired, or at least any more impaired than anyone else, until I consciously reached for the bottle, poured myself umpteen glasses of wine, and poured them down my gizzard. That separates me from all the other drivers on the road, who are presumably not drunk, in theory. I had the option of not drinking that quantity of wine. It's... I wasn't born drunk. I wasn't born impaired and incapable of driving. The metaphor, if you ask me, does not wash. <clears throat> because in the drunk driving metaphor, I am implicit in my own impairment. I am actually, because of my choices, I am actually implicit in being a menace. Or at least being more of a menace than everybody else. Even a crashing hardcore alcoholic can take the necessary steps to avoid drinking and driving. But I, I presumably, had the option of not getting hammered, or if I did get hammered, I had the option of not driving. The procreation is drunk driving metaphor falls down for that reason. Because we had the option of not being drunk. The bit of volition that is examined and condemned in the procreation is drunk driving is the driving part. How about the drunk part? Are we to be condemned for the drunk part? Because if we are to be condemned for the drunk part, then we should be condemned for not choosing to be sober. Okay? Um, it might be my fault that I got behind the wheel of the car, and it might be my fault that I'm drunk. But if procreation is, by its very nature, unethical because it's the same thing as drunk driving, that assumes that we have the option of not being drunk. I would submit that if we're going to actually use that antinatalist um, metaphor correctly, we would have to assume that every driver out there is drunk and he doesn't or she does not have the option of not being drunk. Because if we're going to say procreation is drunk driving, then we're going to have to say anyone who ever procreates is in some sense drunk, right? Because if driving under the influence is bad, then Reproducing under the influence is bad. What is the influence that we're talking about here? Driving under the influence has a clear cause. What's the influence in the antinatalist drunk driving metaphor? One could say that it's just addiction. Okay. Is being an addict part of being human? Is it an 
ineradicable part of our nature. Are there any humans who are not addicted? I would say no, there aren't, even by the antinatalist definition. To exist is to be addicted. Is it part of our nature? I would say yes, it is. I can be blamed for putting this bottle to my lips and draining the contents down my throat. I have the option of not doing that. I don't have the, the option of not being a human being. <laughs> or I suppose one could say that I do have the option of not being a human being. Um, but what would be a proper motive for opting not to be a human being? Guilt, maybe? Self-loathing? Disgust with one's fundamental nature? Misanthropy? Is it my fault that I'm a human being? Is it my fault that I have a nature? That I have attributes? Is it anyone's fault for being what they are? If we're born drunk, it doesn't make any sense at all to walk around handing out tickets for public intoxication and DWI when the cop handing you your ticket has whiskey on his breath it's hard to say that he's got the moral high ground <laughs> this isn't really meant as something aimed at Amanda but she brought this to my attention just by the title of her video I've always liked that metaphor, the drunk driving metaphor. Unfortunately, it falls down. It doesn't work. Why? Because we're all drunk, and we cannot be non-drunk. <laughs>